Encore with Austin Monthly Online. We are here at Austin City Limits Music Festival talking to a few amazing bands. It is the 10th anniversary of ACL and they are celebrating that with over a hundred performers over this three-day weekend and you get to join us backstage. Hi, we're with The Kingston Springs from Nashville, Tennessee. How are you guys doing? Good. Great. So this is your first ACL. How did it go? Uh, it's wonderful. Uh, we had a great show yesterday and it's a good crowd. And I'm just excited to see Fleet Foxes. Uh, we've got weird girls sometimes that follow us around. Jim, but James can tell you all about. Yesterday, one of the songs y'all brought out a horn, which I thought was great. I like that. Is that something that is in the EP? Is that something that's uh, throughout? Uh, it's in the EP and it's, it'll be in the new album coming out early 2012. And did you guys go out anywhere in Austin last night? Uh, the first night we got here, we went to 6th Street. Line. We're here with Austin's very own Ruby Jane. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so you just had your set. How'd it go? It was amazing. Really amazing. Um, super, super energetic. And we had a really great crowd that was, you know, really into it. And um, I mean, I had a really fun time. You know, you never really know until you get on stage and what's going to happen, you know. But as soon as I got on stage, it was just... I mean, it was just like, it was magical, it was incredible, and the band, you know, did an amazing job, um, and I had, I had a really, really great time. Again, I love it. You know, when I'm up there, it's just, I'm so, I'm really in a whole nother world. I'm not even, I can't even tell you what I'm thinking about when I'm up there. Um, it's like a whole, whole nother, whole nother universe. Right. Are, do you get intimidated at all being at a giant festival? Because you, you do a lot. This isn't just ACL and South By, you travel quite a bit. You know, um, I've been I've been performing live since I was about eight years old. So um, it, you know, it's in a way. I mean, it is second nature to me to, to you know to um, to be on stage. Um, but there is you know because it is Austin City Limits Music Festival, and you know I just played Lollapalooza earlier this year. And you know when it is a festival like that, um, you know it's a little it's it's much it's really exciting of course. But then there's like a little bit of butterflies, of course, because I think, you know, when you're playing in front of a huge crowd, I think there always is. But for me, the bigger the crowd, just the more excited I get. So when I, you know, get out, step on stage and everyone's cheering, you know, you can't help but feel confident. Right, feel but great. Austin really, really takes care and loves its own. I mean, do you feel that way, the love? I do, I do. Um, most definitely, I, I feel the love. And, you know, I moved to Austin about four years ago from Mississippi and born in Dallas, Texas. And, you know, as soon as I got here, you know, I grew up in, in a very small town in Mississippi. And as soon as I came here, you know, it was obviously a completely different scene. Um, but I just, Austin just kind of, you know, welcomed me with, with open arms and um, made me feel, you know, so great. And yeah, everyone is so sweet here in Austin. The musicians were great. The first night in town, I sat in with Del Watson at the Continental Club. So, I mean, and, and he was so kind just, to, I mean, to even have me up there and, you know, everyone's just been amazing and, I, you know, I really feel like Austin is my home now. Well, thank you so much for joining us yeah, and we look forward me. to seeing you in the future. Thank Hi, you so much. We are here with... Berenice. And... Eduardo. And you guys came all the way from Monterey, so what attracts you to come to ACL? Because um, of the music and the people. Is there any band that you came particular to see? Yeah, Fleet Foxes. All right, I'm here with the Walkman. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Yeah, hot, hot? Very hot. Yeah, how are you? Hotter than hell, yeah. So tell me about your old trip to Austin. How did it go? Well, it's been about an hour long, and I think we're going to leave town now. Really? Y'all are leaving right after this? And where are y'all going to after this? Well, we're, we're trying to make it to New Orleans by about 7.30 p.m. tomorrow um, night. I was in the audience, and I asked a couple of people, like, what's your favorite Walkman song? And mostly everybody said The Rat, of course, which is a very, what, pretty much what everybody knows you for. But then a lot of people mentioned um, Thinking of a Dream. A lot of them did. So why do you think people like relate to that song so much? Um, it probably sounds the most like The Rat from all the other ones. <laughs> See, my favorite is uh, Rue of the Day and Blue Root, which you guys never, ever, ever play. Play, is yeah. it really? Yeah. Is that why? I always wonder that because it is like I play that song and it's like, oh, like it just it gets me. It's yeah, wonderful. It's got a big string section in it. And if I'm if I'm faking the strings on the organ, it sounds terrible. Okay. Hi, this is Corey with Austin Monthly Online. We're here with Peter from The Antlers. How are you doing? Great, thanks. How are you? Great. So how was your first experience at ACL? 
It's good. It was really hot. You said you come to Austin quite a bit, just yeah. touring. And so, is there any place that you go to in Austin that you frequent? We always end up at the sidebar, actually. Yeah. Um, the reason being, well, we like went there once and like had fun. And then last time we came here, we rolled into town like right at last call, and just kind of did like a blitzkrieg of a of a last call. We're just like, ah, oh, pictures and shots, pictures and shots. And it's become a bit of a tradition now to go there. It's a pretty reliable place.